Any technique used to create consensus, trust, and security over a decentralized computer network is referred to as a consensus mechanism. The two most common consensus techniques in the context of blockchains and cryptocurrencies are proof-of-work and proof-of-stake. POW is extremely energy-intensive, according to detractors of Bitcoin miners, which has led to the development of alternative and more effective processes. Before starting, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more future updates. So let's start. What is a consensus mechanism? In computer and blockchain systems, a consensus mechanism is a fault-tolerant technique that is used to obtain the required consensus on a single data value or a single state of the network across distributed processes or multi-agent systems, such as with cryptocurrencies. It is helpful for keeping records, among other things. For instance, the proof-of-work consensus method used on the Bitcoin blockchain needs computing effort to solve a challenging but arbitrary puzzle in order to maintain the integrity of all network nodes. Consensus mechanism explained. A central administrator has the power to maintain and update any centralized system, such as a database that has vital information about a nation's driver's licenses. A central authority, which continues to be solely responsible for maintaining accurate data, performs the work of making any adjustments, such as adding, deleting, or amending names of people who qualified for particular licenses. Public blockchains run without a single central authority on a worldwide scale and are decentralized, self-regulating networks. They entail contributions from hundreds of thousands of participants who work on block mining and the verification and authentication of transactions taking place on the blockchain. These publicly shared ledgers require an effective, fair, real-time, functional, dependable, and secure mechanism to ensure that all transactions taking place on the network are genuine and that all participants agree on a consensus on the ledger's status in a dynamically changing environment like the blockchain. The consensus process, which is a set of guidelines that determines the authenticity of contributions made by the various players like nodes or transactors of the blockchain, carries out this crucial role. Best Blockchain Consensus Mechanisms There are eight blockchain consensus mechanisms that you should know about. 1. Proof of Work Mining is another name for the proof of work method, and the participants are called nodes. Miners solve challenging mathematical riddles that demand a lot of processing power. Miners use a variety of mining techniques for this, including CPU mining, GPU mining, FPGA mining, mining pools, ASIC mining, and many others. If a miner is the first to figure out a mathematical conundrum, they are rewarded with a block. The only way to solve the problems is through trial and error as well. As a result, in order to locate answers rapidly, miners need an increasing amount of computational power. The speed at which the blocks are being mined affects how challenging the problems are. The problems would become harder if the blocks were built quickly, and vice versa. As a result, it takes a certain amount of time to develop new blocks and carefully modify the puzzle's level of difficulty. Many well-known cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin, use the proof-of-work algorithm. But the proof-of-work consensus technique uses up resources at an incredible rate. The estimated yearly power usage of Bitcoin is 51.13 terawatt-hours per sources. As a result, this strategy may be costly. 2. Proof of Stake Who has a chance to create the following block is determined by a random procedure in proof of stake. For a set period of time, blockchain users can lock up their tokens by becoming validators. Users can create blocks once they have attained the status of validator. In accordance with the blockchain's design, validators can also be chosen. In general, the user who has the largest stake or has owned coins the longest has better chances of forming a new block. Validators typically receive all or a portion of the transaction fees from every transaction made in the block they established as payment for their efforts. Alternately, because to inflation, validators might only get a certain number of coins. This strategy for the proof-of-stake mechanism rewards validators for upkeep of the blockchain network. Compared to other blockchain consensus processes like proof-of-work, proof-of-stake uses less energy. 3. Delegated proof-of-stake Users can stake their coins in the delegated proof-of-stake procedure and cast their votes for a specific number of delegates. Based on their stake, users' votes are given different weights. If a user X stakes 20 coins for a delegate while a user Y spends 2, for example, X's vote will be given greater weight than Y's. The delegate that earns the most votes has the opportunity to create new blocks. Like other blockchain consensus algorithms like proof-of-stake, delegates are rewarded with transaction fees or a certain number of coins. 
One of the quickest blockchain consensus processes is the delegated proof-of-stake mechanism. Comparatively speaking, this approach can handle more transactions than the proof-of-work mechanism. Stake-weighted voting is a feature of DPoS, which is frequently referred to as a digital democracy. 4. Proof of Capacity The proof of capacity method involves storing answers to difficult mathematical puzzles on digital media like hard disks. Plotting is the overall process of doing this. Users can use a storage device to produce blocks once it has been loaded with mathematical puzzle solutions. Users who solve the problems the quickest are given the opportunity to design new blocks. Therefore, those with the most storage will have a higher likelihood of creating a new block. 5. Proof of elapsed time. Based on the amount of waiting time, the proof of elapsed time procedure arbitrarily and equitably selects the producer of a new block. The method assigns a random wait time to each user for this reason, and the user whose wait time expires first will produce a new block. The system must be able to confirm that no user can run multiple nodes and that the wait time is actually random for this consensus process to function. 6. Proof of Identity A user's private key is compared to an authorized identity in proof of identity. In essence, a proof of identity is a piece of cryptographic evidence that links a user's private key to a particular transaction. A blockchain network allows any authenticated user to generate a block of data that may be shown to anybody else on the network. Data integrity and authenticity are guaranteed by proof of identity. Smart cities can also employ proof of identity, a blockchain consensus technique, to confirm the citizenship of their residents. 7. Proof of authority. The identities of the network's validators are at risk in the proof of authority technique, which is a modified version of proof of stake. In this case, the identity is determined by how the personal identification of the validators and their formal identification documents match up. The credibility of these validators depends on the network. Only the nodes who are validators in proof of authority are permitted to create new blocks. The blockchain network is motivated to be protected and secured by validators whose identities are at risk. The number of validators is also not very large. 8. Proof of Activity The proof-of-work and proof-of-stake mechanisms are combined to form the proof-of-activity mechanism. In proof-of-activity, miners look for a puzzle's answer in order to collect their reward. The blocks produced by the proof of activity mechanism, however, are only templates with the header and address of the mining reward. In order to select a random set of validators to sign a block, the header information is next employed. The chances of the higher stake validators being chosen to sign a new block are higher. A new block enters the network after the chosen validators sign it. If several validators do not sign the block, it is rejected and a new block is used instead. The winning miner and the validators split the network fees produced throughout the operation. Despite sharing identical objectives, different blockchain consensus systems achieve consensus using different strategies. Although a single trustworthy consensus mechanism is still lacking, those that now exist have developed over time to match the demands of blockchain technology. Furthermore, because the underlying technology is still relatively new, it can be difficult to foresee the kind of blockchain consensus mechanism that will be widely used and beneficial in the long run. Business executives who want to implement blockchain technology in their company should therefore be knowledgeable about the various blockchain consensus techniques. This is it for today's video. What do you think of our video? Feel free to share your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more future updates. Thanks for watching.